All right, I don't know how you feel about unboxing videos, and this is just a little bit of what I've got here. But if you like them, stick around. Okay, so a quick little talk here about unboxing videos. I'm really not sure how I feel about them. Uh, I, I watch them. I, I watch them a lot. Uh, just to kind of see what's out there, I guess, really. Uh, to get an idea of seeing something that I have no idea about. Wow, that's an awesome tool. I never even knew they had those. So, I guess that's why I watch them. Uh, but at the same time, I think they're kind of... I don't know. I, I guess maybe some people it kind of comes off as bragging or whatever, which is not to me. I mean, as far as this is concerned, uh, a lot of this stuff's going to end up being, you know, giveaway stuff. Uh, and uh, I've got that coming up a uh, free giveaway, which you have to do absolutely nothing to uh, be a part of it. Uh, when the channel hits 500 subscribers, the first giveaway will happen. And you, and you have to, there's no requirements from you other than submitting an entry. That's it. That's all it takes. But I'm in the process of getting that set up. Some of the stuff's going to be for that. So, uh, anyway, the, the whole thing uh, that, that I'm trying to do here is get an idea of what people want to see. Uh, and I'm also going to be getting into uh, electronics repair, uh, PCP air gunning, uh, machining, welding, cutting, fabricating, uh, programming, PC programming, PLC programming, uh, microcontroller programming. Uh, now I might be 50 something years old, but, and hate computers, but I'm a pretty good nerd for hating computers. Take that how you will. So anyway, so, uh, we're going to get into this. We're going to try to get this all cleared out and out of the way. And when we come back, we'll just start opening this stuff up, looking at it. You'll get first impressions as to how I feel about it and how I actually receive it in. Uh, all of this stuff comes from Timu. And, and I may grab a couple other things because there's a lot of other stuff in that I haven't done one of these on that I might include, which uh, I really think they're pretty awesome, awesome products. So uh, anyway, let's get to it. Okay, this right here is a like a configurable capacitor. Uh, I don't want to open it yet. When I do a review, we'll, we'll go over it. You've got uh, two terminals, screw terminals, for what I'm going to say plus and minus. I don't know which side will be which or if it's independent. It may not matter. I, I don't think it would be, but anyway, we'll go into those details. But you can actually, using these uh, micro switches, configure what capacitance you're going to use. And I'm sure these are all soldered in uh, series through the switches or something of that nature. But this is something that would uh, I think is going to come in handy. <clears throat> and I don't know where it's at at the moment, but I have another device that will change, uh, change something from NPN to PNP. Uh, and that would come in handy with PLCs and stuff like that. Let's see here. These are micro uh, clips. There we go. These are micro clips. And, and I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this. But, well, oh, turn it around, Goober. Yeah, so. I don't know if you can see those tiny little clips. I may try to zoom it in. Uh, try to do this without showing it up my fingernail. So that will allow you to clamp on to little tiny um, legs on surface mount chips to uh, hook to your oscilloscope, to hook to your meter, to do any kind of testing with. These are way too expensive for what I think they are, but <clears throat> I think they're a very good item to have, and I think they're going to come in handy. Uh, and this, oh yeah, this is the PNP slash NPN. This will take 
a PNP sensor in here and change it to NPN out the other side. And I think it's a four channel. So uh, this is something cool that we can work with. And it'll actually mount straight to DIN rail. And so with a capacitor uh, array, it will, uh, it'll mount to DIN rail also. Which uh, if you've done any kind of PLC work, you're going to be very familiar with. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's look at these uh double check to make sure these are the same and i'll just set one off the side yes okay so these are basically for uh some camera stuff uh we'll take these are kind of like noga vices they're not by the way noga vices by any means uh, but they're going to work fine for this. Uh, they're actually, they're, they're geared, they have teeth in them. So you have to open them up pretty good to get these to turn. Um, and they, of course, have a standard uh, camera shoe connector on the end of it. And here's an adapter here. So you have all kind of options. But anyway, I got this because um, I have a power supply. It's a, a Rigol DP3 or 832 slash I made it A, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, and a uh, Siglent SDM 3065X and a Siglent SDG 1032X, which the SDM, of course, is a multimeter and the... Uh, uh, SDG is a signal generator. <clears throat> and of course, I've got a HDS2202S. Uh, what's that one? Not go in there. Oscilloscope, handheld oscilloscope, and a uh, Teledyne LaCroix oscilloscope uh, up top up there. And uh, I want to be able to mount a camera to show the screen whenever I'm using uh, a device like that, so that you can uh, you can see see what's going on. <clears throat> now, this I believe yes, this is an extension cable. Uh, believe it or not, I've, I've come into a need for this many times. Uh, USB-C female to USB-C male. And I'll have to uh, check the specs. If I can get it back in here. I don't want to take it out right now. I have to check the specs of the, uh, uh, the deal on Timu to see exactly what the rating is on this. But somewhere in all this, I should have a... Uh, 260 watt USB cable. I hope. Okay. Oh, some some resin. Okay, so <clears throat> this right here is some hard resin that I'm going to make some uh, liquid resin out of, and I'll do a video on that. Um, and I'm also going to do a video at some point on. Um, extracting pine sap from a uh, pine tree and making resin from that for soldering so let's see what we got here instructions oh yeah here's some, here's some more solder that's it I thought I thought there was more solder but that's looks like everything's point eight. Um, and I have to check because I got some that was low melt solder. This right here, I think, is yes, yeah, lead free solder. So, this right here, uh, you probably take a cutting torch to melt it, but <clears throat> I did get some low melt solder because that's really helpful when you're dealing with surface mount components. Uh, let's see, these are different, okay. So I think this is more solder. 
Okay, this is not going to work. I cut my fingernails off because I don't like fingernails. Yeah, this is 0.5. Yeah, I think all this is going to be 0.5. It is. This is all 0.5 and this uh, good weld effect, smokeless, scent free, no residue, advanced soldering wire, uh, tin, silver, flux, so it's got a flux, 217 to 225, see this has got to be the low melt solder, so awesome. And pretty sure I know that this is a clamp. Yeah. So this is wow, it's pretty beefy. So I've got some uh, some conduit. I've got some uh, copper pipe that uh, has been kind of collecting up. And so what this is going to do? You have a shaft here. This is tight enough on it. This right here gives you an adjustment one way or another, and a shaft will come through here with a counterweight on the back. And so the whole deal will clamp to a table, and then the camera will clamp out here, which it looks like you can clamp two different types of or sizes of um, pipe in there three, maybe four. And so the camera will mount on that to be able to do videos over the table. This one right here. See, I just I just bumped this, and that's all flippy floppy. Uh, doesn't uh, doesn't give you much stability. And so I got another one of these, but I'm not going to show you both of them. I mean, they're both the same thing. Uh, that's the other one. Grab a couple of these. Okay, I kind of went nuts on the rosin. So, if this rosin is any good, remotely, at all, uh, I now have enough here. Let's see, I'm 50-something. So, I've got enough here to last me for the rest of my life. Making either hard solder or uh, liquid solder. Like I said, the, the YouTube channel, I think it's Learning Electronics. It's uh, Soren that's on there. I love that guy. He is he is the thing. He is good, and he does. He's got a video on some some resin and making some liquid resin and just using IPA and and some hard resin. So we'll try that. And when I do the the deal with the uh, pine sap, I'm going to try the same thing with the IPA. And I have no idea what's what here, so I better be careful. Try it on the end. Oh, soldering tips, man! I tell you what, that's kind of an odd way to to do soldering tips. I'm kind of concerned they may or may not be broke or bent, or hopefully not damaged. Daddy, lock you out. Hey there, buddy. So basically two of the same ones. I'm just going to put them together. Looks like a knife edge and a 45 degree blunt tip. I don't know the the code to it. and throw that away. Yep. <clears throat> All right. This bag here. Okay, this is a larger tip. This isn't like the C210s. Maybe this is a. I don't know what this is. Yeah, that's a big old tip there. That's. Uh, I'll have to check and see which solder nine that one's for. I don't know. But I'll find out. 
right there. Be careful. Look at there. It's got a little protective sleeve on the bottom of it. Better watch for that. Yeah. Stick that in your soldering gun. If you can get it to fit in there, it's not going to work. So, some more tips. If I don't have a solder iron that fits that, I may have to get one. <laughs> oh, yes, that's a C245. That's the larger tip for uh, the bigger solder irons. So, a C245 is what that's for. <clears throat> okay, so we just got a few more things in this. We're going to call this done. Uh, there's more stuff to to look at from other orders but i don't want to drive you guys crazy uh and, and if you don't like this stuff like i said tell me in the descriptions and let me know and i won't i won't keep doing them uh, because i really you have to understand whenever you don't you dislike a video because you don't like the person or the the content regardless as for what your reason you affect the person not you're not really you're not really voting whether you like what's in the you know the the product that's in the video uh, so it's against the person themselves and i know my delivery is not really good fluid cool like everybody else on youtube but i'm doing my best so this right here is just adapters for cameras and stuff like that so i know that'll that'll come in handy uh it almost feels like more resin my goodness Sure enough, it's more resin. Okay, way too much resin. I've got a problem. But I don't have a lack of resin, that's for sure. Empty. Done. Oh, that's pliers. Yeah. This is what you get when you select very quickly on. This is free. Take it. And that's what you get. Use that to uh, bend wire, which I'm not crazy about the weird looking colored handles, but hey, I don't care. If it works, I ain't going to fix it. Come on. Really? More resin? Let me get Let me see. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. More resin. Okay. Yes, almost embarrassing. I might have to give some resin away. Uh, bet you can't figure out what that is. Yeah, weird. Because sometimes you end up with a bunch of free stuff. Come on, really? Oh my goodness. What's wrong with me? Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm not, I ain't going to tell you what that is. That's a secret. So I don't know what this is. We're going to take a look at it and find out together. And it may be another one of those arms. I think a, it is, but it isn't. Let's take a quick little look at this. It is... Not a Noga vice, but like a machining vice. The same arm. Ah, uh, and the exact same thing. So this one didn't come apart in the bag like the other one did. No, the other ones did. So, get this out of the way. We don't need to keep looking at that stuff. Just cameras fit more, more of the same. Because, like I said, I've got. One, two, three, four, five, five uh, devices mounted to the wall there. Or not necessarily the wall, but on the shelving to uh, do some uh, test equipment. And uh, also the make it one, two, three, four, five, six, including the power supply, seven, including the amp meter plugged into the outlet right there. So I'm, I'm, I'm lazy. Uh, if I can have camera 
gear set up to where all I got to do is put a camera on it. It makes it so much easier. So I can do like a picture in picture to show you what that stuff is doing. Uh, you're not really going to see pictures of me because you, you don't want to see me. Seriously do not want to see me. Just an ugly old fat guy. Arrow Max. Oh, this might be the drill. Yes. So that's pretty cool. The Arrow Max drill. So we'll definitely be doing a video on that. And then this is Arrow Max. Here we go. Fingernail. Four. So I don't I don't remember <clears throat> what the other Aramax device. Oh, okay, so drill bits. So I did I got some drill bits, I guess. Does this come out? Yep, sure does. Oh, come on. So, I don't know. I may have two of them. Something else to give away then. So, let's get this closed back up. Get this closed back up. And is there, <clears throat> of course, I think y'all saw this in the soldering iron setup, which I still got to do reviews on these. Uh, and this is a quick little peek at the uh, soldering iron holder that I hope, I think it will work with every soldering iron I've got. So that would be cool. And it'll probably be just what sits on the desk. And I want him to use the stands. Excuse me, the stands that come with them. I just use this. Uh, here we got a. Uh, this right here works with uh, key fobs to uh, check them. You can point it here to see if you're getting a signal. And there's RFID uh, sensor on here as well to see. Like right here, here's the IR input. And you point it there, and I think it'd probably even give you the the code for remote controls. In all honesty, now this right here is just a power bank, but we'll we'll probably look at it. I'll probably do a combined uh, a combined um, review on some of these things because it's just way too much to do individuals and not really worth it. Live sound card. Uh, we're going to do a, a review on this once I figure out how to use it. And confirm that it works and all that good stuff. And there's more. There's, there's there's way way too much stuff than what it should be. This right here is really good. I uh, don't know if I've said anything about this, but this is kind of like a caliper. And I don't know what y'all do, but uh, I got an old caliper that ain't no good. Well, it goes in a drawer, and when I need to mark a piece of metal, I will use that caliper to open it up set it and scribe the metal uh, before machining it and so this is going to be my that's a piece of carbide in there so this right here is going to be my uh, metal scriber and so using old calipers uh, I just got to check and see how how accurate I'll, I'll check this against my Mitutoyo how accurate these graduations are $224,900 after I called her, I typed it in. Anyway, it's been on Zillow for 26 days. Oh, well, I'll take it out of the recording in the video editing. <laughs> I might leave it in there. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so anyway, uh, there's a lot of other stuff to review. So if, if you would, please be kind um, and just tell me. If you don't want to see this stuff, that's that's great. Uh, I just won't do videos on them. The, the stuff when it comes in, I'll just do reviews. But I, I hope that maybe showing stuff like this right here, that I can get some input from you guys and you can tell me, hey, look, I want to see a review on that. Or I want to see these two things compared against one another. So anyway, uh, that's all I've got right now. And I appreciate you uh, granting me some of your precious time to look at this. Thanks and God bless.